going on guys <clears throat> as you tend to know I'm not that big into the whole first-person shooter perspective games um, destiny I wasn't that big into I bought destiny 2 um, recently I just got around to playing it I just turned it on and played about an hour of it and just like I thought Bungie to me, now, to me, I tanked on the first one. Um, I know it's got like a cult following and all that shit. It's just my opinion. They flopped on the first one. It, much like Halo. Halo's first gameplay is great for online. The campaign is horrible. Okay, I mean, there's very few and far between... Uh, actual story to let you know what's going on. They very rarely fill you in on what the fuck is going on. The multiplayer of that game is very great. It is very much, um, how you would say, a changer, game changer for the first person shooter genre. That I've never denied. But as far as gameplay goes for the first Halo, same thing with Destiny. It's just straight garbage, okay? This is something Bungie's done before. They've always had, for some reason, a lot of trouble with the first games. Um, and then the second one comes out, Halo 2. Halo 2 is leaps and bounds uh, better than the first one. And Destiny 2 is showing signs of being leaps and bounds better. I mean, there is a legit story here. And you don't have to leave the game to go to a website to get it. It's actually in the game. Um, and it feels like you're playing an actual game this time. Rather than just a first person shooter and you going, okay, what am I doing? Um, why am I doing this? Are you going to explain anything? Who are these characters? There's actual character development here. Um, the character development that you create the character on, though, is pretty much the exact same. Very little is there. I mean, they stuck with that, which I found to be, pure, you know, pure shit. That's obviously Activision. Activision doesn't want to give you too much to, you know, work with, where you'd spend a whole lot of time in the character development department, unlike with, like, um, Elder Scrolls, because reasons. But, I mean, they could have. This, I feel like, is Destiny's issue when it comes to creativity. I mean, you want to, you know, make the character your own instead of having a whole bunch of people running around looking exactly the same. There's very, very little uh, character development in this game, which is why I'm, you know, yes, I like it, but at the same time, I'm just like, eh, I can run into someone who looks exactly like me because... There's no creativity or originality between it. I mean, in the Elder Scrolls, you can spend hours in character development making your own character. That's why the Elder Scrolls is such a good game, and it's really, really impressive. And I feel like, Destiny, you kind of dropped the ball there. And this was your second time uh, going into this, and you didn't allow us to bring our character from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2, and I was like, cool, maybe they'll make the character development, you know, much more intact, making it much more detailed, you didn't give us that freedom, that is fucked up, you should have gave us that freedom, however, I did send out a tweet on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, feel free to, if you don't already, um, I do send out gaming stuff on there, where it's just, you know, what I'm thinking about at the moment, um, shameless plug, by the way, I know, fuck it, I don't care, it's just something I'm doing. Um, saying that I feel like Destiny 2 is a strong competitor when it comes to the two juggernauts between Destiny and uh, Call of Duty, uh, fighting it out over the holiday season. I know Destiny 2 had been released before Call of Duty because Call of Duty isn't out yet, but I feel like Destiny 2 is going to be strong enough to actually, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Especially over the holiday, because I know a lot of people haven't picked it up yet. They're wait, pardon me. They're waiting for Christmas, or their parents are gonna get it for them for Christmas, or whatever the case may be. Or maybe their parents are like, you can pick one for Christmas, and you know they'll have to choose. 
But I feel like Destiny 2 is a strong enough competitor to where, okay, Call of Duty, you have multiplayer, but that's about all you offer. You offer only Call of Duty multiplayer. You offer zombies, which again is multiplayer, and a lot of people play that online experience with zombies. They don't like playing that shit solo. And that's what you've been for a lot of years is multiplayer. Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, a lot of people play that shit for the multiplayer. They don't play that shit for the campaign. And a lot of people will type down, yes, we do. You're lying to yourselves. A lot of you are. And I know you're doing that to defend your game, which is fine if you want to defend your game. But don't lie to yourselves because that just makes you look stupid. Okay? I myself have Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3. And I don't play either one of those games because I don't care to play games that are just mainly online titles. Where I know the mass majority of people care to play online games. Okay, I don't own a shitload of Call of Duty games. I only reserved um, World War II for the thing on my head here. I like the hat. It was five bucks. Um, I got the poster. I'm not going to cancel the reserve because if they give more free shit out, it's five dollars. Then I get a whole bunch of free shit for I mean, I'm taking advantage of that. But... Do I plan on keeping it? No, because Call of Duty, you've fallen into that slant of, well, we're going to release a great online game, which honestly, if it's just online, you could probably make it a freemium game on a console and just make it free to download and have people pay to play later on for downloaded shit like a uh, weapons pack or map pack or whatever, and it'd just be a freemium console thing. Whereas with Destiny 2, it seems like it's a real competitor this year with, hey, there's an actual story in this thing. You do have the online shit available. They're spreading out their uh, downloads, and, you know, Tank King shit. They're spreading all that shit out. And it's free uh, this time around from what I understand. And that makes it more of a competitor versus last go with Destiny where the launch title of it before all the uh, DLCs was just fucking horrible and like I said this is just my first impressions of the game I just sat down for like an hour of it it's not bad I mean I like the fact that okay it starts off and you're just like what the fuck is going on and I mean it's telling you what's going on while it's going on and you're playing it and it's a story and you're just like holy shit but again this is something you can expect from Bungie is if you look at Bungie's past with Halo, they dropped you off in Halo and didn't really tell you a whole lot. And then with Halo 2, you got a massive uh, upgrade with Halo 2 where they explained everything as it was going on. And it made you feel like there was more of a story. So again, um, it's kind of Bungie's, you know, formula here. I'm not mad at it. I just kind of wish they had gone, okay, we're not going to make the same mistakes we made with Halo. But unfortunately, Bungie, apparently you don't know how to get out of that uh, formula there. So maybe people who didn't play the first Destiny will just pick the second one up and be like, oh, well, fuck it. It's the same fucking thing. We don't really need to play the first one because I don't think you do. Um, this one is definitely by far from what I've played of it right now, a better version of Destiny. And in all honesty, if you want to play the first Destiny, like I said, that game does have it to where you have to go out of the game in order to get the story, which to me and to a lot of people made that game a failure. Um, and not only that, you had to wait until basically the Rise of Iron to get the complete overall game. Um, and I don't know if that was Bungie's fault or if that was Activision's fault. But again, you know, that was what, a couple years into Destiny 1 overall? And it still made you feel like, okay, this isn't a full, complete game. I still have to, you know, turn the game off, leave the game just to get the story. And I still don't, you know, it, it just had a lot of problems. And I know a lot of people can defend it, but I can't defend that because I'm used to playing a game with a story. And even Halo didn't have that problem where I had to leave the actual game to get the story. They told enough story in the game to where I could stay in the game and continue playing it. I'm just saying, don't defend the title just because you like the title. Call bullshit when you see bullshit. That's all I'm saying. Um, but as it stands right now, Destiny 2 is definitely a superior version. I just, I'm not happy about paying $90 just because expansions wanted 2.
outside that, um, so far, really good. Really, really a good way to capture people into playing it right there in the first hour. Anyway, I gotta go. Deuces. <laughs>